Welcome back. This is the second video of a two-part series in which I am going to discuss how I'm going to do a te my test setups for my technical longboard reviews. The first video, we looked at wheel wobble, we looked at bearing friction, and the coast time of our wheels. So basically kind of taking a look at the bearing health of the skateboards. So today I want to go over two other additional tests that I'm going to look at during my technical reviews on longboards. So those two things that we're going to talk about today and look at how I'm going to test are turning radius and also the deck deflection. The first thing we're going to look at is deck flexibility. Oftentimes you hear people say, oh, that board was, was really flexy or it, it's too stiff. Well, what does that mean? Define that. Give me, give me a number. How can I compare that to another board? So that's kind of what I want to look at today. And again, we're, today we're going to be uh, demonstrating um, on the Quest Super Cruiser. And we're going to go over the setup that I'm going to, I'm going to do and use to define and quantify deck flexibility. So here it is. First thing we're going to need is a deck, and here it is. We're also going to need a set of calipers. Some, I'm using some digital calipers here. You can turn them on, you can read the, the distance at which it measures. And I've mounted my calipers into an acrylic base that I've, I've cut with a laser. I've pressed it in there so it's, it's difficult for it to move and it will hold this upright. And then we're also going to use 115 pounds of weight to put onto the deck. So what we're going to do is we we'll turn this on. I'm going to place it. I've made some some center line marks. Here's the center of the deck this direction and here's the center of the direct this direction. So I'm going to take a measurement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this down at my mark and then I'm gonna zero it out. So that's gonna be my starting point. Now put that aside we're gonna put our weight up on top and then we're gonna take another measurement. This is 115 pounds, so 100 pounds of these big metal ones and then 15 pounds here. So now I've got my calipers zeroed out from the original position. Now all I need to do is reposition it and look at it and that's what my deck deflection is so I, now I have an actual number uh, 0.36 inches was the deflection from that center point um, after I put the weight on it next we're going to talk about turning radius so you can see I have drew some lines here and I've measured off of the center line of the screws uh, a, a distance what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my weight on this center point, which is going to cause the whole deck to, to deflect in, um, simulating when you were putting your weight on the board, turning onto one side off center. This is my mount. Put that on my wheel. There's one on the back side set up already. I'm gonna drop in my pen. And use the rubber band to hold it down so that it's constantly in contact with the paper. You can see I have my weight. The deck is turned in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this back and forth so each side is in contact with the paper. So the weight's on. I'm 
and now I've got my line. So here's what it looks like once my pen marks have been made. Um, this was the back side, this was the front side. So the theory is once the lengths are going to be different. So I'm going to use some simple math to figure out what the actual turning radius is. So I'll show you how I do that and uh, what tools I'm going to need. I've created, it's hard to see in the, in this camera with the lighting, but this is, this is also something I've made. Uh, it's a piece of acrylic that's been laser etched and it has marks at every half of degree up to 90 degrees. So I can use this to actually measure some angles here to, to have find some values for my math. So here's what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've got my lines drawn out from the 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 sharpie from the wheels, and it's at a they're at a slight angle. They actually taper this way because of the the turning radius. So I've connected them. I've drawn my lines through here, and if you zoomed out, this is basically kind of what we're looking at. Um, we've got a triangle so with a with the right angle. We're going to draw. We're going to use a, a square to draw a 90 degree line right here, which we'll do right now. So I've got my 90 degree and then this one would be at an angle, take, getting smaller and smaller as you go down here. So this is basically what we have, this triangle. I've, I've just put in my 90 degrees. I can actually measure this distance. Okay, so my T, I'm going to call that T. I can measure that now, physically measure from here to here, which is what this distance is and I'm trying to find R which is my turning radius so I can also measure the degrees which is which is what I'm gonna do with my tool here with these tick marks I'm actually gonna take a measurement so once I know the height of the triangle and the angle I'm gonna use this mathematical equation to solve for R. Yeah. <laughs> 